So uh, at the break, a couple of people approached me and assured me that my perceptions of club, as in country club or old boys club, were not the intent of the presentation. <laughs> so thank you for your calming words. Um, in 1999, when Crossref was formed, it was all about solving the problem of reference linking. And that is being able to click on a link uh, in a bibliography and go to the article on some other platform. And so that's what we've been doing for a long time. That's what we continue to do. That is like still one of our primary missions, but it's gotten uh, bigger and has expanded quite a bit. And uh, I'm going to focus just quickly on, on that fact. Uh, we know that there's more things out there in the scholarly map than just references, data, funding, all kinds of things. And so what Crossref is trying to achieve now is to link and I don't like using that word because it you know, connotates linking as in a hyperlink sense, but to connect, connect the literature to all of this other stuff. And so all of the research, all of the funding, all of the events that surround the, the articles that were published, this is what Crossref is really about capturing uh, today and disseminating that information openly. And so the, the, this is kind of the undercurrent of what we're doing uh, day in and day out uh, is to collect event data, collect collections that define the, the connections between different pieces of information as provided to us by the publishers of that content. And so that is where we are principally focused today. So that what can be described and we've seen a couple of other presentations here today about building this map from different viewpoints from end user end user viewpoints this is the viewpoint that the publisher can provide to tell us that and we can pass on to you what the publisher views as the different points of connectivity between that those articles so all data all all research peer review content items uh, all of the artifacts that emanate from the peer review process, uh, preprints, uh, pending publications, which is, which is a new service that Crossref is about to launch, and that is assigning a DOI to an article before the article is available online, That's to establish the provenance of that item early in the cycle. All of these are connections between the content that makes up the scholarly map that we're all really trying to, to describe. And the, the key thing, What's that little button, Jennifer? To click on it. No. <laughs> the dangers of showing some slides that your colleague just put together. Um, but it, it all comes together at the end in the distribution process, right? And so Crossref has public APIs for the retrieval of all of our, of all of our metadata in JSON and in XML. And these interfaces are open. Uh, the content is all of Crossref's content, or nearly all of Crossref's content, is openly available. Um, the one piece that is not yet 100% open is uh, references to articles from publishers who are not yet also, uh, available to the public. Um, but you know, time will march on, and will change. And uh, as I've seen in the past 16 years, it takes a while, but I think we all ultimately will get there. So the key thing is Crossref collects this metadata about collections and links between content as provided by the publishers and we distribute it freely. Thank you. <laughs>